what we found was that we can deliver higher quality health care at lower cost. What's remarkable is we took a practice that was already of exceptionally high quality and very efficient and we made it better. So we were able to improve the process of care. We were able to reduce the variability in those steps. At the same time, we reduced resource utilization. So as we did those things, we found that total time in the OR was reduced, total time in the ICU was reduced, total time in the hospital was reduced. And what came with that, additionally, were important improvements in 30-day outcomes. So the importance of it is applying the right tools and the right care model and the right work model to the right population. Part of the reason that best practices fail and protocols fail and physicians may object is because those tools aren't universally applicable. There are patients of low complexity, moderate complexity, and high complexity. And developing the care models that are appropriate to that population and the protocols and the best practices is the way to impact care quality. And when we try to apply protocols to the wrong, wrong types of populations, it creates chaos. And physicians who are certainly interested in their patients' well-being are going to object. Probably the fundamental observation in our paper is not the specific way that we improve process or improved outcomes or, or reduce cost. The fundamental observation is that the complex that practices have a complexity structure. And what we did is we looked at the structural complexity of our practice. And we determined what percentage in which patients are of a significantly low level of complexity that can be managed by this model. That sort of structural complexity analysis are relevant in multiple practices. But as important in many ways as the cost savings or the outcome improvements is what we've done is going to be satisfying to patients and families and it's going to be satisfying to providers. For patients and families, uncertainty is a tremendous burden. And we've made care predictable enough that we can tell patients and families what they can expect. And this is tremendously important.